Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. That's how you get to it. Uh, I'm also with cricketusers.com, and we have a Sprint uh, CDMA version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, we're going to root the device because that's the only way I think I can get the SPC right now, other than paying someone because I don't have a Sprint account. Also, in general, uh, this method is supposed to work with all the US uh, variants of the Galaxy S3. So, as you can see, I have my uh, device plugged in. I'm actually going to unplug it. Um, we're following along a tutorial that can be found on XDA developers. Uh, make sure you have your Red Bull ready. Actually, mm. it's not that bad. Um, anyways, you want to download and install the Samsung USB drivers. If you have older versions of these drivers, these are probably newer and they might have some more stuff on them. Turn on debugging on your phone. So, go ahead and slide that down uh, your notification bar go into settings right there developer options go ahead and click USB debugging go ahead and click OK uh, so we're going to plug in the phone and let the uh, drivers install mm -hmm. install alright um, we are we downloaded uh, clockwork mod recovery uh, the super well CWM super user version 3.0 Point seven. Here's our device right here. We we'll go ahead and open it up. We're gonna place this in the root just because it's easier to find uh, right there. All right, moving right along. Um, we copied it onto our device. Uh, it says unplug your uh, phone and power off the phone. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Samsung on the side. All right. It says to download Odin, uh, extract Odin, I believe we have it right there. Uh, we download the Clockwork Mod Tar from the bottom of the post and place it in this folder as well so we can uh, find it. It says reboot your phone into download mode. Hold volume down, volume rockers are on the left side there. Home and then the power button until the warning message is displayed. Alright, you get that little warning message. Supposedly if you use Odin, the, uh, there's a little counter in here and they can tell. Um, you might void your warranty, so that's just a risk you take. Go ahead and push volume up to continue. Phone should now be in uh, download mode. We're going to go into the folder where we extracted the Odin 3 and run this right here. We're going to right click, we're going to run it as administrator, even though I believe all of my programs run as administrator. We're going to connect the uh, phone again. Some more drivers might install. I'm doing this for the first time, just by the way. Once the device is connected and the drivers are installed, it should say added uh, over here. So this box over here didn't turn blue. I'm going to unplug it, replug it back in. Alright, I'm not saying that's the culprit, but I changed from a Motorola device, uh, USB cord to the actual stock uh, Samsung cord. Uh, I also restarted uh, Odin 3 and I did try another port and now we have a COM port right here uh, in blue like we're supposed to. We're going to click on PDA. Now we're going to locate our file, our clockwork mod tar file. And place it right there. Verify that auto reboot and F dot reset timer checked says click start. Once the process is completed you your device should automatically reboot and there will be a green pass box in the upper left of the window. Then you can close Odin. It says power off your device and boot into recovery mode. All 
I like to show these videos in real time so you guys have an idea of how your device should actually perform. We go, go ahead and power it off. If I do fast forward through some stuff, you should be able to tell if the screen's kind of in some sort of fast forward mode. Working a little faster than usual. Okay, to boot into recovery mode, we're going to hold volume up, home, and power. You can feel it vibrate right there. It says you'll know when you're into recover, recovery mode when it says CWM based recovery at the top of the screen. It says install CWM super user version uh, 3.07 zip that you copied into your internal memory. Excuse me, once it's booting go ahead and release the buttons or you'll probably shut it back off like I was right there. So we're going to navigate using the up and down power. We'll install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And right down there we'll just go up to get to it. There's our file. We'll scroll and click yes. To enter you hit the power. So now we're going to go back and reboot it, and our device should be rooted. It suggests now that you install uh, BusyBox. Uh, BusyBox is very important in a lot of the scripts and programs that are out there. Uh, you'll need it for uh, titanium backup. To get BusyBox, just go to Google Play, or Play Store, click Allow there, we're going to search for a BusyBox, we're going to select the one from the author uh, Steven Sterickson, right there. Click install, accept and download. Click open. Allow. We'll X that. Hit install. Looks like it was successful. You can click auto update, that's uh, up to you. We're going to go into super user right there and update our binaries if applicable. Settings, general, SU binary, tap to check. Alright, we are already current. Uh, you can hit update anyways if you any way if you want. So if you like this, please visit our website at usgalaxys3. Three is in the number. dot com. Uh, we'll be trying to uh, post a lot of things up there. If you're a developer, uh, you want to get your stuff out there, we can give you some web space, website, anything you need. Just come and talk to us, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, thank you guys for all your support with Cricut users. Uh, full flash tutorial will be placed on uh, our site as well.